so the father is uh, dead mentally. <laughs> About time you got your ass here. Listen, we got ourselves another situation. Serious as a heart attack. What now? We do, huh? It's Garrick. Dude's been crossing names off his shit list. And we're next. <laughs> okay. He's after you? How'd you manage to piss him off? It ain't just me. Everybody in a five block radius is in jeopardy. Garrick is the lunatic who cranked the bells for three days in Old Town. And according to my sources, he's coming for Bywater next. Well, in Via Carola, he put up this big bell and then the herd is just <laughs> swarming there, just like in Old Town. Who are your sources? The trade network has given me eyes, tourist. In every corner of this city. Reliable people. People who benefit from what we created. They keep tabs on Garrick. It's survival for them. Like a herd of antelope looking out for the lion. I have no reason to believe they ain't legit. What's your plan? I know where Garrick's hiding out. You'd be surprised what intel you can get for a can of cream corn these days. Anyways, one of my contacts saw him coming and going out of the hotel and found an underground passage in the wine cellar. That should lead you to him. Um, I'm not going underground, mate. Appreciate the info. I've had enough of this guy. Thanks, Tours. You're the only one I know with the muscle to take him out. You get that firepower situation worked out yet? I guess. Grenade launcher. Enough said. All right then, warrior's code. <laughs> I get it. Oh shit, with all this Garrick chatter, I forgot to ask about the preacher. All this stress is killing my brain cells. I found him drunk, drowning his sorrows in the quarter. The tower had been there, slaughtered all of his followers. Damn, that's vicious. Well, He's a bull-headed son of a bitch. I'm sure he'll find his way back from the brink. And the trade network? It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. With or without him. Oh my god. What a sudden finish. <laughs> Again, Hotel Claire. <laughs> I mean, okay. But can we do that in the day? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if... Uh, I do have a chainsaw. I don't want to go it at night. But then I have to replace my bow. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Go to the wine bar just below the Hotel Eclair lobby. Oh yeah. I was gonna say, I don't have any recollection of any underground thing here. That's the one place I wasn't there, like... I noticed that on my way back. I do have a grenade launcher, but it only has one shell. Because I can't craft ammo for it, or I don't even know if there is. So... Is there a point even? Well, the wine cellar is literally in the entrance, so... We'll see. I'm not especially happy to go into his lair. Because I know I'll encounter some bullshit. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with my own equipment, but what can I do? So I was never here. 
Well, this is wine cellar. I'm just not sure. <laughs> Fantastic. What's gonna be the interaction with Garrick this time around? Because if he will send zombies again, then that's fine. But what about him? Drainage tunnels. Let's keep it that way with the gameplay. No surprises. That's how the voices. Okay. So far, I don't mind it. I do have a lot more cleaver, so that's fine. One weapon down. I think it's a very good time for a chainsaw. Not a fan of this. Not too bad. Thanks. for me automatically I 
don't know in what direction it should go. I don't need everything. There was one more there, but whatever. I just want to be done with it. Hello. Oh. Hello, baby. Well, that makes sense now. So I'll actually go back. <laughs> Or not. <laughs> Keep sending stuff like that's fine with me. Oh wait, that was from where I came from. Instant response, mate. 